Arthur Pass very close to the Outer Banks of North Carolina on Monday, but it is quickly moving out to sea to the east for our Tuesday. That being said, there are still some threats here, and if you notice, it's mainly along the coast with the coastal flooding as well as the high surf and seas. Let's take a look at our coastal flood stage over the next couple of high tide cycles. No issues this morning, though I wouldn't be surprised if a few spots just got into minor flood stage. Otherwise, the main concern will be for this evening, but as you can see, mainly minor flood stage for us. The nuisance kind of flooding where, yes, you have to move your car a block or two and you won't want to drive through the flood waters, but at the same time, no water inundation to your home or business. Wednesday, we do it pretty much all over again. The morning will be good. And in the evening, we'll have minor flood stage just about everywhere. Thursday should be okay. We should be below flood stage. Look at the wind, strong from the northeast. 30 miles an hour sustained along the shore, 15 to 20 on the mainland. So very breezy out there. That being said, I don't believe we'll see much in the way of wind damage. Typically, you want to see wind gusts and wind gusts over 45 miles an hour at that. Yes, a shore could get to 40 mile an hour with wind gusts, but for the most part, I do believe we will be okay. You'll want to bring in maybe a potted plant or your lawn furniture, though, over the next couple of days. For this morning, temperatures will be slowly rising through the 50s here, and we have a mostly cloudy start for our day. Strong northeasterly wind that only increases as we go throughout the day today, and that will put a hard cap on temperatures at the shore. LBI only at 54, Atlantic State 55, 58 in Cape May. I wouldn't rule out a shower after 2 o'clock along the shore, but otherwise I believe we have a mix of clouds and sun, warmer temperatures as you head towards Philadelphia. If you're heading out on the water, well, I'll tell you, don't. And the reason why is because we have a gale warning in effect. Strong northeasterly winds will make traveling the seas dangerous for the smaller boats. 9 to 12 foot waves out on the ocean, even in the Delaware Bay. Four foot waves are relatively high, even for there. As we look at our mainland seven day forecast, Thursday and Friday will show the winds dropping and the temperatures increasing. Temperatures will be warmest on Saturday. But there'll be a couple of showers and storms around. I don't believe it's a washout, but something to pay attention to for any socially distant Memorial Day barbecues. And if for Sunday and Monday, yes, they are dry. Yes, we will have sunshine, but maybe not the best beach weather. Still a good day to be walking out and about. I'll give it a B for our Memorial Day weekend. For the latest South Jersey weather, you can follow me on social media, or you can go to our website where you can sign up for my Something in the Air newsletter at thepressofac.com slash weather.